You know, most times when I tell you things like this, you try to verify them for yourself because the facts are there. Whenever you don't get to the point, you highlight it for me so that I will, I will clear your doubt. Do you get to the point now? My brother, to be frank with you, Macy was that decent to wear a girl I told you I was packaging for my very good friend, Don Jazzy. You remember I promised him that it was going to be an all expense paid sponsorship on my head. Don't worry about it. I heard that he, he, he sells polo. So I will take care of that by opening up a boutique for him or enrolling for IT with my designer, Bafop. Do you get the point now? So I am waiting for Don Jazzy to come and do the needful now that I have little time. You know, all this while I have been busy trying to sort out issues surrounding the 150 million bail condition for Soware, who was simply agitating for good governance. You know, sometimes you poor masses don't understand how we try as much as possible to make things easy for you. So based on who I be, I have invited my brother, Kubana Chief Priest, to come alongside with Mercy on Thursday, 24th of October, 2019, at exactly 10.54 p.m., that we may look into all the monies I gave to him for Mercy's campaign, and as well look into the 60 million, so that it will not be mismanaged. Let us don't repeat the mistake we, we, we made two seasons ago. Do you get to the point now? Even my friend CMC Cars, one of the leading automobile companies we have, has promised to give her a brand new whip. I, I think she will give that one to Uncle Ozo. Did you notice that Uncle Ozo came when she least expected? You are the point now. This is a lesson to all those village uncles who don't want their nieces and nephews to survive in life. Have you ever thought of what will happen when I decide to sponsor Uncle Ozo for president 2023? At least from your own point of view, you can understand that Uncle Ozo is a kind of happy man. Through his recent action, you can see that Nigerians always want to be happy so long as there is small money in their pocket and food on their table. That's why you don't have to disturb them anytime that they are following up with this kind of programs. Do you get the point now? Now that it is over, I think they can now go back to status quo. You know, I keep telling you, you poor masses, sometimes you should look at things critically when they happen. Did you notice the kind of wisdom that was applied in the house at their last party? The evicted housemates were separated from the finalists. Because you and I know that if they freely mingle, Ike will tell Macy what Omashola said about her. And the fight will ensue. You get the point now. This is the exact tactics my politician friends deploy in this country. They won't allow you poor masses come close to discover what we discuss at the upper echelon so that you won't know what they know and you keep fighting yourselves. That is why we use class to separate you from us.